They've come out in their thousands to bury protesters killed on Friday. But even a funeral procession doesn't seem to be able to keep them safe. This video allegedly shows security forces using live fire on mourners attending the procession in the Damascus suburb of Barza on Saturday. Al Jazeera can't independently verify the footage. Funerals are being held across the country for those killed during protests against the government. And we're getting more reports of security forces opening fire in various different locations. There are confirmed reports of more people who've been killed. This video from Isra near Dara claims to show Friday's dead on their way to be buried. And further amateur video emerging from Friday's deadly clashes. All these videos tell the story of a very bloody day. Syria's state television paints a very different picture, calling reports of the deaths and injuries lies. There's already been some political fallout, a few resignations on Saturday. One member of parliament gave his reason as being the killings by the bullets of security forces. Being an MP, I feel the need to step down as long as I'm not able to protect the voters killed by live ammunition. And now I feel better to resign, so I'm resigning from the Syrian People's Assembly. World leaders are also condemning the actions of the government. U.S. President Barack Obama demanded Syria stop what he called its outrageous use of violence against demonstrators. Syria says his comments are not based on an objective vision of the reality on the ground. But with so many different videos appearing on the internet from so many different cities across the country, they all seem to be telling one story. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera.